Hello guys, welcome to today's lecture. My name is Hadi. Today I'm going to talk about the compound assignment operator. Uh, we have uh, studied arithmetic operator, uh, conditional operator, logical operators, and uh, now let's go through the compound assignment operator. We have studied assignment operator which is equal, and let's see what the compound assignment operator is. Here, uh, you can see that uh, we have plus equal compound assignment operator here we use the counter plus equals to 3 for example counter is 10 this is an example counter is equals to 10 it actually do just uh, look at the next statement which is the here here also counter is equals to counter plus 3 these these are both same no difference uh, they both just uh, add 3 into counter for example counter is 10 now it is 13 if counter was 100 it will become 103 so there is no difference the difference is that uh, counter plus equals to 3 will take uh, less time to be executed so this is compound assignment operator just and instead of plus you can change it to minus then it will decrease and instead of minus you can put multiply then it will multiply that value and instead of divide uh, instead of multiply you can write divide and instead of divide you can write modulus these five operators are compound assignment operators we are going to use them in our program so let's just go to dvc plus plus uh, I have a variable named a it is 100 and uh, actually 100 is saved inside the uh, memory location a and uh, I'm just going to do some operation on 100 so let's do it let's do it uh, a plus equals to 200 what does it mean? This is of course same as uh, a equals to a plus one. Both are same. Both are same. Here, this one is compound assignment operator. Uh, this is a kind of operator that uh, here this is addition, so it will add and in, into the a variable. If you use uh, minus, then it will decrease that, it will subtract. If you use multiplication, it will multiply that. So here, if I use C out, A plus, oh sorry, I just need to write it in A plus equals to, A plus equals to, A plus equals to is what, A, yeah then if i use the now the value is 300 if i minimize if i subtract it a minus equals to 200 now it will decrease that to 100 again so it will be if i use c out next time if i say f a minus equals to is a next time if i do that multiply multiply equals to three of course at this time it will be 300 and if I if I print that display that a multiply by is equals to a oh I did I forgot to write in del here and l to put the cursor into next line so and next time I'm just going to divide that. Let's divide it by 60. Divide equals to uh, sorry not 60. Uh, let's divide by 5 because now it's 300. 300 by divide by 5 will be 60. Let's see out. Add divided by equal is.
and how about modulus 8 8 modulus 8 it will be CR a modulus a modulus is equal to a. actually we are uh, just changing the value of a the first time it was 100 then we changed that to we actually added 200 with a now it's 300 next time we uh, subtracted for 200 from a now it's 100 then we multiply that into 3 then it will become 300 again and again if we divide that a by 5 it will be 60 and 60 modulus of 8 will be mm -hmm. we actually do operation on a and also we are going to save the result inside a we are going this thing so let's just run it compile and run so see first it was 100 I didn't mention but uh, here it was 100 first and I just displayed a plus it was a plus 200 it became 300 then 100 then 300 and 60 then 4 4 will remain if we if you want to divide 60 to 8 4 will be remainder so guys this was compound assignment operator uh, uh, this was today's lecture please just subscribe our channel and introduce our channel to your friends uh, okay see you in the next lecture